but what I have done is I put the cameras back on because I've just started recording for the screen because Pilot Aware is really, really busy with gliders um, and other contacts. Yeah. So I thought it would be useful to be able to play this at the same time. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. I have just put the screen on to record um, and that's reading 11 minutes because around Nayland there are so many gliders and so many aircraft coming up. With such a busy pilot aware screen I was interested in what my vector diagram would look like. If you operate a pilot aware and you haven't tried it you can log on to the vector diagram page. On the old diagram, the startup was a Cabri G2, but what you do is you type in your hex number into the ICAO box. G info for your aircraft will list this if you don't already know it. It's no secret as the information is available for all, and mine is 40189 Delta. You then highlight Pilot Aware in the drop down box and then the Go box. You'll see that I hadn't flown much and my unit wasn't painting much of a picture, if at all. On the other hand, when you look at the diagram for Matt's RV7, which uses the external aerial system, and of course it's a metal aircraft, you'll see that it is very, very different. So I was therefore keen to improve my system. I'm not sure how best to film this, but I'll have a go like this and we'll see what we got. Uh, basically you've got here the um, Pilot Aware Rosetta, um, as I've got it set up at the moment, with the um, aerials that it came with. But what I wanted to do is I did want to um, improve the setup by using the exterior um, antennae. What I've got is part of the unload of the box. I might have already shown you that. I, I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to edit that at the moment. The white lead is the power lead. So therefore that stays as is. What we're going to do is we're going to remove both of those aerials and we're going to replace them. The point that um, I need to remember is the fact that the longer aerial here on the left hand side, that's the one that you have underneath the aircraft. Well, in theory, they both go underneath the aircraft, but I am going to start off by using one underneath the aerial. That's the one that picks up the atom grid um, and I'll be using that on the coaxial there but instead of drilling a second hole through the bottom of the aircraft what I will do is I'm going to use the um, suction mounts on the canopy to see how that one goes. So basically what we do is we unscrew and this is one that I didn't try earlier which is perhaps what I should have done as I was saying, um, we need to remove the big antennae from the unit. Um, and in place of that, we want to have the long antennae, which will eventually be in the bottom of the aircraft, but just in order to set it up. And the pilot aware paperwork does say that the best thing to do is while you are at home that you do set the whole system up just to see to make sure that it is working but 
this will took a bit of time but got there in the end so I've got that one which will come under the bottom of the aircraft I'm not using this aerial to start off with because what I want to do is I want to experiment with this one which is part of the um, internal setup I've gone for the external because it gives you the very best reception but I'm not sure about um, the presence of the pilot and the passenger and the engine so what I am going to do is I'm going to mount this up on the front of the canopy and see how that one works and of course that replaces but that's like that so that's going to go up onto the canopy and that's going to go under the floor of the cockpit the power lead will go to the anchor unit which is behind me somewhere which will go onto the dashboard I will replace the old USB that I've got because the um, advice from Pilot Aware is the fact that we need to use this unit because it provides a guaranteed power at the right input and with the set comes this one which is the USB charger that goes with it so that will sit inside there okay and the power will sit and run from there okay so we're nearly there in terms of what I need to do with the exception of the fact that because we're now mounting this somewhere else I'm I'm here at home now I'm not 100% sure where it's going to actually go but what is sure is the fact that you're going to be mounting it in a way that at the moment by having it horizontal it picks up the satellite signals from there what you have to do is you have to remove that from that USB and you take the USB from the um, mouse that is going to be put onto the panel at the top of the panel and you push that securely into there in doing so making sure that the pigtail one hasn't been removed and once that's in place then that means that we can move on and give it a try now the only thing I can say is the fact that in order to try it I'm going to go into my computer bag or my flying bag I'm going to take the anchor power block that I normally do and I'm going to apply power to the unit so I'm applying power to the unit I'm possibly not going to get a signal because I'm in my conservatory I've got that now so what I'll do is I'll use the screen recording from this um, and show that in the edit Despite being in the conservatory, the system booted up and the opening radar page showed it was working. As did the Sky Demon when I turned that on. I was therefore very keen to install it into the aircraft and see how it worked there. Um, since I filmed that last bit, I have had another flight. I started to uh, put the unit together as you saw in that video but I didn't have a chance to fix the um, underside aerial so what I did was I, I put the long antenna back in I kept um, this one which I put onto the windscreen I don't know whether you can see it there with the sticker um, so that was there I put I just rested the um, GPS dongle on the top and I ran 
the um, audio as I normally do into that unit. Having flown it a couple of times, I tried again with the vector diagram. This time it opened with a Cessna 152. I failed to notice that it had also stored my hex number under the ICAO box, so I didn't really need to type it in in full. But having entered it, I did get a result. Not a great picture, but it was only a partial update on the system. It did show that what I had done had made a difference. I also played a little bit with the calendar which allows you to take out certain days and see a comparison between them. But basically I've come over tonight to have a look and see exactly how I can tidy this all up. So yeah. We shall see. Well, I don't know whether this is going to show this particularly well, especially as I'm underneath the aircraft and I've got a lot of space, but I've put this antennae through underneath the back seat, connected it onto this inspection plate, which is going to serve as a ground plane. Um, and you'll see on the far side there, that is the transponder aerial that's been there for some time. You had to make sure that there was 200 millimeter difference between the two, but yeah, uh, that's in there now. Uh, and make sure I can see what I'm doing. It's connected. Uh, it's just a matter of screwing up this panel and then putting the seats back in. I was absolutely stuck for where to put the Rosetta. So I've decided to put it down there to the left hand side of my seat. Um, as I said, I'm for the time being going to run it off the internal aerial there. But I have, I don't know whether you can see this one, no, there's not going to be enough light. I'll do that as a, as a stilt. As my LAA engineer, John gave my work the once over to check that what I'd been doing was okay. That's a support that I've been very grateful for now for a long time. It just leaves me to fly it now and then check back against the vector diagram as well as noting the information improvements which the atom receiving antennae beneath the aircraft gives. If you are thinking about a pilot aware system and haven't committed as yet, Keith has kindly offered a 10% discount on Rosetta units, bundles and installation kits. Simply type in Jodel Flyer, all capitals, against a discount code.